Welcome to To Enable Help. The short video is going to show you the features around the administration section and it includes my profile where you can change your profile settings, your calendar where you have got any upcoming events and any organizations that you are a member of. So if I go to my profile, which is the first link, you can see here you can add an image of yourself. So you can take a picture and you can upload that image and you can change your personal details, including uh, your province and the school you go to. So I can change, I'm going to change this to Rob Ferreira, which is a high school in White River, and I'm going to save those details. So when you obviously make a change, you need to save whatever the changes are. And you notice that when I hit save, it came back and it said, they were successfully saved. So any of your details that might change, for instance, your email address or telephone number or where you live or what school you go to, you edit those details in your personal details. And if I go back, I can now go to my organizations and my organizations are organizations and groups that I'm a member of. And you can see here that I am a member of Rob Ferreira and my membership status is pending. So somebody in Rob Ferreira needs to say that I am a member of Rob Ferreira. What is important at this point is that you need, your school needs to be using to enable in order for this to appear. So if you become a member, if you choose a school and you do not have this record here, it means your school is not using to enable to manage its students and to analyze the results. So at this point, somebody who manages Rob Ferreira will log in and they will see that I've applied to become a member of Rob Ferreira High School. And it will then ask me, um, it'll, they'll then decide whether I'm a member or not. So they will say, well, demo user, they don't know who demo user is and they're probably likely to reject it. But what's important is that I have said to the people at Rob Ferreira that I attend Rob Ferreira. So that's uh, my organizations. The other thing you'll see here later on when uh, you become a member is that they can put you into groups and they can create events. And then the third thing on, on administration is the calendar. So I can click on the, on the calendar and in the calendar it will show me all entries that relate to me. So you can see I have an empty calendar because I'm not really a member of Rob Ferreira and they haven't arranged any um, sessions for me but I will show this to you as a different user to understand precisely how it can how it can work. If I go back to the dashboard, earlier we tablet user, we registered as, a, we've also got an, an Office 365 account and, and this time I didn't log in with my Office 365 account, but this button allows me to launch my Office 365. So if I'd logged in with Office 365, it will immediately open my Office 365 uh, account and you'll, it's unlikely, in fact, there we are, it's opened it for me. So this is my mail, my calendar, and it's the same user here, tablets at impermanmusic.org.za. So those are the four functions around administration. Um, what I will do is I will log in as a, as a different user, and I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox to do this. And um, I'll show you the difference between a new user and between a user uh, who uses this actively. So, like M, you can see I'm now enrolled in a lot of subjects, and, I'm, and I've got a, a, my administration section substantially more. But if I click on the calendar, you'll see I've got specific events. Um, personally, I don't have many events, but there's management group meetings. But I can look in my organisation. And I can see within my organization, there are many, many, many events. Um, so we're on the 2nd of, of May today. I could, in fact, tomorrow I can see Sonelli has got seven people attending uh, a base group session in Zvalisha from two o'clock till three o'clock. And um, so what I'm showing you here is, is, is once you use the program actively, that in fact, the whole look and feel of your of your desktop changes and um, just to take you to my organization so you can understand what happens at the my organization level 
Uh, so Michael here is, is logged is a member of three organizations. And you can see I'm a member of them all. And you can see I've accepted the terms and conditions and I'm an administrator of each of them. And here I, I'm a member of a group. So this was the only group that I'm a member of. And that's the event that appears in my calendar. But because I'm an administrator, I'm able to see all the events in the organization uh, beyond just my events. And I can demonstrate that to, that to you in other ways, my upcoming events, which is really just a calendar of future events. So these are the management meetings you saw. I can show you what's happening in the organization. And these are exactly the same things, but are events that are upcoming for the organization. So for a user who's just logged in or just registered, there won't be much functionality. But it's fairly uh, important to understand that once your school begins to use this, there becomes a substantial amount of functionality that becomes available to users. And I hope that was helpful to you.